travel vlog. Uh, today I'm going Golden Temple. Uh, I'm gonna go to Golden Temple and uh, yeah, just have a look around basically. I think it's like a Golden Temple's like a sacred good ra or something for like the Sikh religion. Uh, and they seem really like, like really nice here. Like the Sikhs, they like give people free food. Uh, they feed people on the streets and that. They seem to be very like outgoing and like welcoming towards like you know poorer people and that. So very kind and that I think. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to the Golden Temple first time and that. I've obviously I've been there, so I don't know if you're allowed to film and that in there. But I'm gonna obviously try and film in there. I might have to go undercover and stuff, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I'll just go in anyway and have a look. This is just some of the streets where in Amrit's are, just usual shops and that, usual shops and that, obviously this is like Punjab area I think, so, uh, yeah Punjab area, but it's down here, Golden Temple anyway, first time I'm going there, obviously I've been outside, so going in now, so it'd be great to bring you along with me and that. Uh, and have a look around. Oh, it's not down there, it's straight up here. It's up here, I think it's not down there, it's up here. So we've all got candy floss and that. No parking. No parking and candy floss. Uh, so I think to get set up, your first thing you've got to do is go in there. That's, that's where the aim is, to get in there. But in order to get in there, obviously you've got to hand your shoes in, get your ticket and get a headdress. Even though my head is covered, I don't think baseball hats are permitted. Uh, so you've got to wear one of these like, like Sikh headdress things. Um, obviously to cover the hair, take the shoes off and that. So I'm just gonna see what see what the deal is. What's everyone doing here? What kind of shoes do they got on? Is is everyone barefoot or are people still wearing socks? I don't know if it's socks barefoot. What's going on here? That's where you got to take your hand in, I think. Well, it's busy here today. It's really busy. Well, I need to get focus, get focus, get travel and uh, travel in action. This is travel tourist visit to Gurdwara Shahi Sahiba. Uh, let's get down there, I think. Get these crepes off. Right, those shoes. Next is uh, Go Window. I think these guys take their socks off as well. So shoes and socks. There's holy water going around. People got holy water and stuff. Uh, just need to hand shoes in. There's a guy over here. Just go and see this guy. You can find one of these yellow. And you head thing as well. Head things, I think. Head things, I think, you get over there. So you've got to switch head thing around. They're Adidas ST20. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So I got one of these. Hello. Just need to find headdress basically, so headdress is the next thing. Last place I went to, they had a. Uh, what did they have? Yeah, they had like buckets, like huge buckets with the head things in. Uh, well, I don't know where they are. They were, they, they're probably around at the front of the gate or something. Just gonna have a look around there. Where'd you get a head thing from? So you need one of the head things to go in, I think. See, they got rules in that, but it's all written in Hindi, so I don't, uh, I don't fully understand it. Well, let me just roll this up. So next thing is the head thing. You can't wear a baseball cap, can you? I don't think. Ah, uh, it looks like there's something going on over here. It's a big gathering. With head headdresses and that. This is where the headdresses are, I believe. Oh, don't want to stand. These mats are lethal as well. Uh, so this is where all the headdresses are, I believe. 
everyone seems to be getting one from somewhere. Yeah, they're all in here. Let me get in here a second, mate. This is the bucket. Let's get that one in there. Don't even map this one, looks folded. Got a ready folded one here. I just removed my sacred baseball cap. Sacred baseball cap has been removed. And now I shall replace with this. This doesn't even fit. Well, I've had that on, I had a really small head. I think you are. I just ripped it, I think. Next generation seek. Right, so that's it, and now you just go in, I think. That's it, basically. You just walk straight in. Hello, young man. Young man. <laughs> right, so that's it then. I'm just gonna get geared up, just see what the score is, basically. Let's get in here, have a look round. Just get this set up. Yeah, right. We're going in. Ah, oh, you gotta wash your feet. This auto feet washer. So this automatically washes your feet. God, I don't know how many feet have been through this, but probably a fair few feet. God, people are drinking the water and stuff. Locals are actually drinking the water. We are camera next to the Camera? No. No camera? Oh, you're not allowed a camera? Oh. Can I switch off? Off. Switch it off? Yeah, not oh, right. So you sit there and basically it's local guys and that. I know what the score is with it's making quick clips and that. There's no signs that say you can't film basically, so I'm just not going to make filming an issue, if you know what I mean. Like, like random guys just walk up to me. Yeah, random guys just walk up to me basically and say you can't film. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know, if, if you work here, then I think it's right. Like the guy on the gate, I think you say it's all right to make video or something, but I just didn't make small donation or something. So I might go and make a small donation to, I think you make a donation and then you get a receipt basically, so I might do. Got relaxing music and now playing. There is the temple itself there and I can see it better now. Golden temple, I'll just come round here. There's guys actually, uh, oh there's fish in there as well, there's carp in there I think. There's carp down there. Let's see if I can see the carp. There's a carp. And there's the temple. The temple's actually made of gold I think. So it's all real gold. Uh, and one of the guys who donated 400 kilograms of gold, I think they named a university after him or something. I don't know if it's like, you know, like actually, it might just be gold like pasted onto cement or something, but I don't know if it's actually all solid gold, but it's a lot of gold anyway. There's guys down there bathing in the holy waters. Oh yeah. What are the guys doing now? All oh, right, getting changed in that. That's one of the local nice guys. Uh, most guys are really kind, really hospitable on that. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. It looks like Q bit backlogged and that. That is the Golden Temple there. Just there, basically. I think it's like a big complex to just walk around. So yeah, I'm just gonna get around then. I think they got some kind of... I don't know what's in here. This is like something. I think it's a guy. Is there a guy sat there? There's actually a guy sat there. What this guy's doing? Oh, you gotta make a donation. Put in donations. Of course, it's overflowed with donation. That place is absolutely loaded with donation. That's that's even more rupees than I saw with that uh, guy that was working at the boat counter. Guy at the boat counter just pulled out like a fat wad of rupees. That guy back there has got even more. Rupee King, King Rupee. See, there's another good view of the temple here. 
Let's just have a quick another look here. There it is, Golden Temple. Let's get some quick snaps in. Trying to see guards. Looks like there's another entrance out. I just gotta make sure I still got this coin. Yeah, I've got the coin, there it is. This was a coin I got, so that's the shoe coin. Uh, so obviously that is that is booked a slot for shoes, I think. So wherever that slot is, is where my shoes are. It's obviously holy as well for people to go and like go and bathe in the water. This guy's got like a chain or something on. You're not allowed to go past the chain, I think. It's bathing in the Golden Temple. Excuse me, please get aside. I want to take picture. Oh, okay, okay, you want to take picture? Yeah, no problem. I'll just take quick picture here. Taking quick pictures and that. So this looks like this, this I think, for a first and a half leg from the entrance round. See if you can actually get to the Golden Temple. Uh, I think you might be able to walk up to it. That's another donation. I don't know what's going on there. I already put a donation in, so. Yeah, as I was saying, I already put a donation in, so I'm not putting another one in. One donation's enough. Uh, I think don't want to get carried away in that you know being on travel budget and that don't want to get carried away with donations so might come back later at night it's supposed to be quite a spectacle uh, so I might come back at night just to have a look uh, possibly as long as there's no issues getting in so I knew that guy's full on in the water That's the entrance over there. That's where I came in anyway. This is the queue to go to the Golden Temple. Extremely long. I don't know if it's even moving. I don't know if that's an FM queue. Fast moving queue. Just so I'll give it five minutes, see how far I go. Could be any, could be here for hours, maybe. Some fish in that. Fish, I think. It's another building there. Another building there. Still in the queue, been there about five minutes. It's moving, it's just moving slowly. It's another good building there, probably all gold on top of that one as well. Yeah, the fish have come up. Nibble fish. Apparently, I think they nibble the feet. So people put their feet in and the fish nibble their feet, I think, but it's obviously a rare occurrence, I believe. I just ate some sacred bread. I thought it was a queue to get, it's not even, I was in the wrong queue. Golden Temple queues down here. Basically, Golden Temple queues over there. Yeah, I was in the wrong queue. Golden Temple queue is over here. I was in the, the, the uh, bread dessert queue, I think. Some sacred seat food that I just had. Wrong queue. This is the Golden Temple queue then. Well, that is queue to go in Golden Temple. I caramba. Queue is long. Let's go and have a look.
might be worth coming back later I might just come back later and have a look because that queue is long basically I was just in the wrong queue I was just in the uh, dessert queue where well, it's not dessert it's like sacred like seat Jew or something but yeah that queue's long so this is still the queue I think I'll come back later I'll come back later I believe just do a quick walk around now maybe try and get in the temple at night it's supposed to be really special at night So that's it basically, I think that is the, 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 the walk around Golden Temple covered. Just gonna have a quick look here. That is the temple once more. I believe exit is up here. Well, they were saying to me, people are saying you're not allowed to film. I think you are allowed to film. There's no sign saying no filming. But look at this guy. That's like ultimate filming there. There's no signs that say no, don't film now, I don't think. Uh, do I think the Sikhs allow it? Unlike some Hindu places, you're not allowed to film. But I think they might be allowed, I don't know. Let's go have a look at this quick map. So this is it then basically I think, uh, pretty much back at the exit, I have been told that this is really spectacular at night, so I might come back here at night uh, just to have a look round, obviously it's quite early now, but a good way to spend the day just to have a walk round and that. Hey, this is the way out I think, this is the way out. So. Back to the shoe man. The shoe man. You know where the guards are. <laughs> On the way out, I don't think you wash your feet. So it's probably going to take this guy about an hour to find uh, find my shoes. I think it's quite nice here, though. Like. It's pretty chilled and relaxed, you know, like, I could easily just come here and, like, you know, just stand around, basically, just sit, sit here quite happily for a couple of hours, no, no issues. Uh, I think you got to put these back in. Remove this. Stick this back in the bucket. Boy, oh, drop There's loads of them there, there's hundreds of them. I'll just go and return my thing and get my shoes back, basically. Get the shoes back and that's it, sorted. This is it then, going to get shoes and that. Just get some shoes and shirt. I think it was this window. So I have the shoes, been in the sacred slit with all of the uh, other shoes and that. I'll just go and re re recap my shoes, get them back on and that. So that's it then, just leaving the temple and that, got shoes back on. I um, might come back later when it's night and view it at night. Uh, yeah, so come back later and just check it out. There it is though, Golden Temple. Fantastic. Yeah, so I've made official decision. I'm going back to the Golden Temple tonight. 
gonna try and uh see it at night basically because it's supposed to be like really spectacular really pretty in that i'm just at like punjab uh, punjab mansions i think oh rang punjab which is uh rang punjab it's just got loads of restaurants and out there i'm not eating here i'm not eating here but it's pretty cool here so checking out this water fountain this is the water fountain Yeah, coming back, uh, the uh, Golden Temple later tonight. Uh, basically, got to wait until it gets dark, switch the lights on. Hopefully it'll be a spectacle worth watching. Okay, so I have returned to the Golden Temple at night time, uh, just to see if it looks any different during the day. Apparently they stick a load of lights on and stuff, and obviously it reflects off the gold. So it looks like pretty, you know, inspiring or attractive. So back here, basically, uh, let's go check it out. Let's have a look around. So this is it then at night. It's not too dark. It's a little bit dark, but not too dark. Just a little bit. So we go going basically check it out. So this is it then at night. Gonna have a quick look. It's all lit up. At night, then basically, I don't think it's quite dark enough yet to appreciate it. It's light, uh, kind of how it's lighting would look in totally dark conditions, yeah. So, it's not totally dark enough to totally appreciate it in, in, in its darkness with all the lights on and that, but it still looks good nonetheless. Just have one more walk around this evening move around and that. So I came earlier over here, they get water, like cups of water, blessed water. Someone actually on the boat there. He must have a special dispensation to be allowed to actually go out on the boat. Because I can smell the water. It smells very fresh. It's like fresh water. I don't know if he's cleaning it or something, taking bits out of it. There's fish down there still, they seem to hang around here. It's like fish area. So that guy's cleaning the pool then. There is the temple. Golden temple lit at night. There it is, Golden Temple, it's starting to light up more at night. Maybe this was a good time to come. Nighttime visioning. Temple made of gold. I think other parts are made of gold, like this bit over here. I think that's made of gold. Roof of that. That's made of gold. And this one over here is made of gold. I think the rest are not made of gold. So those are the, the main uh, main golden parts that combine to make the golden temple. Just getting a side view of it. I'm thinking about actually attempting to go and have a look in the middle. I don't know what the queue's gonna be like there. It was pretty long last time. Needless to say though, I haven't really got anything better to do. 
uh, apart from Hare Krishna this evening, so might actually queue up, go and check Temple out. It's over here. It's pretty lengthy, but hopefully it's a moving queue. So obviously it's moving, you know, people aren't hanging around and that. Let's go check it out anyway. See it from the other uh, it's all starting to light up now. It's all lighting up as it slowly gets darker. I really see the gold reflecting. Light now, let's, what a spectacle! Brilliant spectacle. Okay, so actually in the queue then. Slow moving queue. Try and get as far to the front of it as possible. Yeah, that's another thing. Locals who say you can't film, basically, but there's not one sign in here that I've seen. I haven't seen one sign that says you can't film, basically. So the, all these local guys are like, oh, you can't film, you can't film. I should just piss off, basically. Do you know what I mean? Like, if anyone says you can't film, don't pay any attention to them. Do you know what I mean? If they if they don't put signs up, then it's all right, basically. Like. No sign tonight, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, once you've committed to this, that is it. Once you've committed, that is it. All you can do is wait, basically. Committed to the wait. You like, it's gotta be at least the three, four hundred meter queue. Long wait. So that's it, basically. That queue. Is not going anywhere. I've literally been stood in the queue for about an hour and I haven't even moved, so everyone's gone into like prayer mode. Uh, but I don't think it's literally going anywhere, so I'm not hanging, ar hanging around. It's an absolutely chock a block. I know the best time to come down here would be as soon as it opens, I think. It's not going to be open all night, I wouldn't have thought. You can just see the queue here, all the way down there, not even going anywhere. And then it literally doubles back all the way along here. It's not even moving. See, I think I'm bailing then. It's nice to see it at night though. Lots of pretty colors and lots of good lighting. Lots of colours and good lighting, so it was definitely worth coming back uh, in the evening just to see it. So yeah, definitely worth coming back in the evening just to have a look at it. But, uh, time to bail, I think. Head back outside. Just so, leaving them for the second time. People still coming in. I feel sorry for anyone who queues up at the Golden Temple, they'll be, uh, to actually see inside it, like internally, they'll be waiting a long time. Uh, probably like maybe like three hours, four, maybe even five hours, like the queue was not moving at all. Let's just have a look here. Here's some of the, uh, commemory, commemoratory, like, plaques and that. Bengal sappers, corps of engineers. I think these are all guys or plaques to the to the regiment. It's quite a lot of memorials to guys that died in Singapore, though. Probably World War Two, Singapore, fighting against the Japanese. I think there was quite a lot of Sikhs there. Died fighting for for I think the Empire, Empire fighters. Yeah, there's loads of plaques around there. Artillery, sappers, engineering regiment, medical regiment, first aid regiment, artillery brigade, cavalry, medium regiment, medium regiment, rifles, rifles up there, field hospital. Yeah, rifles, engineer regiment, cavalry. So yeah, it's a mem quite a lot of memory to these guys. 
yeah, it's a memory to the guys that died in Singapore and that, probably fighting for the Empire, defense of the, defense of the realm and that. Uh, so maximum, maximum respect to these guys. Uh, so yeah, I guess good place to end the vlog then. Take one last look at this temple. Here it is, lit up at night, looking rather grand. If you do ever visit, remember your key, key to your shoes and socks. So it's well worth coming in the evening then. If you're tuning in, thank you for tuning in. Uh, more travel experiences come in. Super carrot travel. Uh, catch me again for another. Peace out.